What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I really gotta start quitting Best Cop before I make a video. Uh, but you saw the title. I had a request about my OBS settings. People want to know how I get my videos so crisp and clean. Well, uh, let's open up a new OBS window and launch anyway. And it should immediately open to, you know, the maze of endlessness. And if we head to my microphone, I'm gonna do... That shouldn't happen. You like that bug? Look at that bug. We're gonna go to filters. First, I have a standard noise oppression. I have that first, okay? Then I have a noise gate. I have it set up like this. I find that this is the best because it instantly closes and you don't hear my clacks of my keyboard or the clicks of my mouse. And then we have the compressor. I haven't really changed anything here. It just sort of sets the, the deep tone, uh, which resonates with my voice best. So that's my filters from my mic in a nutshell. Now, if we go into advanced options, you'll notice that I only have one and one for desktop audio and mic. When I'm recording gameplay normally, I'll have one and two set, but one and one is for streaming as I do stream on Linux. Now, if we go here, you'll notice I'm using uh, GNOME Mutter Screencast. And actually, am I? One second. Uh, take that. Yeah, I am. And the reason I'm doing that is because it performs the best when you're streaming with gameplay and you don't want to use game capture. Yeah, a little side note. It's really easy to install that. Um, I think I might go over that at near the end of the video. If I don't remember, I'll do another video on it. It's a really good app. Uh, it lets you select your screens and whether it's a desktop capture or not, it draws the mouse cursor. Uh, you can use running time as a timestamp if you need to. It's a really, really good application, and I hate to see it not be updated anymore, but I'm going to use it till it stops working. You know what I mean? It doesn't work so well with NVK, but that's just NVK being NVK, okay? If you don't know what that is, NVK is the open source NVIDIA Vulkan driver, all right? It's made by the people at Mesa, and it's really advanced at the moment, but its performance isn't meeting what it can do so that's why i'm not using it okay let's head into settings so for video i'm recording in 1440p and my output is 1440p so no need to downscale or have a downscale filter i find that's archaic i'm recording at 60 fps of course there's other types of fps you can record at don't do that uh this is my stream settings so once again nvank av1 because we stream on youtube and youtube's not an archaic place like twitch i stream in 18.5 k bit rate i know it's kind of a little bit a little bit ridiculous but it is what it is and i don't stream in variable bit rate and the reason i don't do this is because i don't want that weird smearing to happen across my screen or the blockiness to happen and that tends to prevent that we stream at slowest best quality. I lose a little bit of performance, but not enough to really, you know, make me want to stream in a lower quality. Unless it's a really, really, really GPU intensive game, and then I'll do medium quality. Which you really don't know the difference from, so it's fine. When I record normally, locally, like I'm doing right now, it's again AV1, MKV, and PCM 24 bit audio, because that's what my, uh, my little setup does. So my, my uh, interface for my microphone. Again, constant bit rate, 25K, slowest, best quality, high quality tuning, and so on. And I just leave everything else as defaults. For audio, uh, I normally select this, but I forgot to today. And track one is mic. And track two is desktop uh, audio. Desktop audio, like that. And you can just name those and do whatever you need to. I don't use anything in advanced. I don't change it. Accessibility, nope. Hotkeys, nope. Uh, pretty much this is it. When I go for streaming, I turn ignore streaming service recommendations off so I can stream in AV1. And I can technically stream 50k one bit rate if I wanted to, but I don't want to. I tried that before. I did see a difference in video quality, but most of you wouldn't even see it. So it's it's just, it is what it is. But before we go, I'm going to show you how to install that GNOME thing that we had. And I'm going to do that by copying this to a better folder. So it's right here. This is GNOME Mutter Screencast. 
or OBS GNOME screencast. We go to this, we download this zip file, and when we extract it, you're gonna see this file right here, okay? If we open our terminal, and we just go all the way in, so you can see what I'm doing, we do sudo copy, and gnome, mutter screencast.so, we're gonna send this to lib, or sorry, user, then lib64, OBS, I think it's plugins, one second, plugins, and that's it. I hope this video helped you. Again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and help me out. Bye, everybody.